Hi everybody and welcome to the deep learning audio application from design to deployment series. Last time, if you guys remember, we built a Flask application where we uh, deployed our uh, speech recognition system. So uh, let's take a look at the architecture that we've built so far and understand what we're going to do this time. Okay, so, so far, as you can see, Guys, so we built a uh, client which can send a post request with an audio file where we have like our keyword. And mm -hmm. then uh, after we send this, like we have a Flask development server that's able to pick that up. Then the Flask application serves the audio file to uh, TensorFlow. TensorFlow analyzes the uh, information, then makes a prediction and sends it back uh, through the Flask development uh, server to the client. Now, this is great uh, for uh, applications where, I mean, just like for toy applications where we don't want to put things into production, but when we want to put things into production, we need to add a, a reliable, robust uh, web server. So the first step in that direction is what we're going to do today. Uh, in, uh, adding to our stack the uWSGI uh, web server. So basically our architecture at the end of this video is gonna look like this. So we're gonna insert uWSGI uh, between the client and the Flask application. So to mm, have an idea of how this is gonna work, basically you can think of like the client, again, sending over the, uh, the audio file, uWSGI picks the uh, audio file and then it transfers that information to the Flask uh, application. And then again, Flask calls TensorFlow, TensorFlow makes a prediction and Flask sends back to you Whiskey the prediction, which sends back the uh, prediction to uh, the client. Good. But what's uWSGI? Well, uWSGI is a, an application server, but the thing here is that uh, there are like a bunch of different things that we need to understand about the uWSGI technology as well. So there are, <laughs> there's a lot of confusion like in uh, naming conventions here. And so let's start with uWSGI. So uWSGI is a server uh, application. So we can use it, uh, for example, as an HTTP uh, server even though we usually want to use it as a middleware. And that's what we're going to do because like in the next video, we're going to put Nginx in front of a UISGI. And so that is like the usual um, kind of like architecture that you use for uh, web applications with Python. Good. Then UISGI is called UISGI because it, speaks the WSGI specification. So what's the WSGI? WSGI stands for Web Server Gateway uh, Interface. And so this is a standard uh, or a communication uh, specification that it's used uh, between uh, the web server and uh, the web apps built uh, in Python. So this is, you can think of this as a uh, Python uh, API and then it's a way like for the server to communicate with the applications like Flask applications or Django applications. Now this is already a little bit confusing but it becomes even more confusing when we put in yet another uh, thing here which is called again uWSGI. So what the heck is that? But it's uWSGI all lowercase and so uWSGI all over case is a wire protocol for the uWSGI uh, server application. So basically what this is, is a, uh, a, um, a programming language agnostic protocol that uh, uWSGI, the web server, uh, the server application uses to communicate with other um, web servers, like for example, with Nginx. And again, we we'll are going to using a UISGI lowercase protocol in the next video when we're going to input or we're going to put uh, Nginx in front of our UISGI web server, web server right now. Okay, so I hope like now you have 
uh, an idea of like of all of these different uh, elements and how they relate to uh, themselves. And I know like it's a little bit like confusing because like, I mean, all of these things are basically called whiskey or you whiskey, right? Okay, but as the first step here, we want to uh, actually install you whiskey. Okay, so now uh, let's move on uh, to uh, the code. So the first thing here is, uh, as I said, uh, going to the terminal, um, pip installing u whiskey. So and this is gonna uh, install u whiskey to your u whiskey the server application uh, to your machine. I'm not gonna do that because I already have it installed. Okay. Right, okay, so now the question is, so how do we uh, run uh, uWSGI? Well, to run a, a uWSGI server, so you should just type in uh, uWSGI and then you can pass in a bunch of different uh, options. So uh, one that's very important is uh, HTTP and this is basically the, uh, um, the URL where like you whiskey like is is listening right okay so here we can put for example 127.0.0.1 so basically we can say that we are uh listening to the uh, to localhost and then put a port so for example i don't know like 50 50 right i like this okay so then we can add other options that are like important for you whiskey so we need to pass in the uh the a file that contains the whiskey application and so the we can pass in whiskey file and here for example in our case this is going to be server.py uh, so if we are over here guys so we are basically saying we are oops we are passing in this server.py uh, script that has the whiskey uh, application good but that's not really enough if you're dealing with flask you want to pass uh, a callable object that is your uh function whiskey uh, yeah function really and so here we can pass in callable and this is going to be equal to app and app it's this guy here in server.py and it's the the flask app so this is the the object that's going to be called by uh uwisgi right then uh, we can pass a couple of other things like uh processes and here we say that we just want one uh process and we can pass in threads and we say that we want just one thread. Okay, so this should run our uWSGI server. So let's uh, run this and see what happens. Okay, yeah, here we go. So we have it uh, running, which is great. And uh, so now the, like, the thing that uh, I, I want to tell, uh, tell you guys here is that, I mean, uh, it's great that we can use directly the terminal and type in all of those options, but I mean, I don't really like it because like it's a lot of things to type. So what uWSGI does for us is enabling us to create a file, like a config file that we can use to uh, run. Oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. We can use to run uh, like all the different options. Okay, so let me just stop this and clear this guy over here. That's good. Okay. So what we want to do here is go in our project and create a new file. And we're going to call this app.ini. Good. Okay. And so here we want to pass in this uh, uWSGI. And then here we're going to pass all of the options. So for example, we'll say HTTP p is equal to i think we said something like this 50 50. so i'm just omitting local host here because like it's the kind of like default um value uh, for you is gay okay so http then we want to pass the whiskey uh file and this is going to be our server 
dot uh, pi and then we want to pass the callable and this is equal to app. Now, app isn't like any magic uh, like word there. So you can go to our your server dot pi uh, and then change this to, I don't know, like nice app. And then you would need to pass nice app into app.ini, right? Uh, okay. So here we have the callable, then we can pass in the uh, processes. And again, yeah, let's use just one process and just one uh, thread here. Okay, and yeah, let me add another option here that's uh, called uh, master. And a master basically, so if we put master to true, that means that um, Uwizgi is going to gracefully shut down like our, our processes. Good. Okay, so we have this. So if I, if this is like correct, so we can go here. So I've just like fired up the terminal. So let's call, uh, yeah, I'm in directory six because this is like uh, uh, video lecture number six. Okay, and so here I can just run uwisgi and pass in app.ini and so this should work. So let's see. Right. Okay, yes, it seems to be working fine. And it also, yeah, we have like references like the TensorFlow because probably has loaded the TensorFlow um, library. Good. Okay, so now we want to, now that we have our uwisgi uh, server running, we want to send a post request and get a prediction. So how should we do that? Well, we already have our client. So all we need to change here is the uh, address at which we are uh, sending like this post request. So we're still sending to localhost, but instead of port 50, our web server now is listening to port 5050. Good. Okay, so now uh, let me get the terminal here. And so I'll just uh, uh, run the client script and let's see if we can get back a prediction. Yeah, it seems it's working here. Good, yeah, we got it. So predicted keyword is left. And if you guys remember from my uh, previous video, so we were sending this uh, left.wave uh, file. And so we got like the, the right prediction once again. And here you can see what happened like on the, uh, on our server. So uh, we uh, like serve the server, like started the, um, our speech recognition um, model. And then it just like used that for like making a prediction. So, right. And if I rerun this, so it's super fast and you can see down here, the post request. So the post request that we sent from the client to uh, the uh, predict route. Good. Okay, so this is great. So now we have like a almost a production ready like a solution for our speech recognition system. But as I mentioned, what's missing still like it's a fully capable like web server like nginx which we are going to uh, introduce like in the next video and that is going to be in front of uwisgi and uh, in the same video so next time we're also going to put like all of this stuff so nginx as well as our flask uh, application into like two Docker containers and we're going to be using a Docker Compose to create a network so that the Nginx Docker container and uh, the Flask uh, application Docker container can talk to each other. So stay tuned for that and if you have any questions regarding this video as always just like use the comment section below and I hope I'll see you next time. Cheers!